Hey guys, what's up? It's Tina, I'm back. Um, it's a Sunday and I'm filming a video up on my rooftop. You can kind of see the cityscape behind me. That's not the skyline, but that's just, you know, cities. I mean, the buildings in Seattle. Um, how many times have you guys seen me in this sweatshirt? <laughs> I live in the sweatshirt, but I love it. But um, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday like I am. Um, it took me a second to set this thing up because I was one, I was trying to um, send something to my laptop, which is over here. And then um, I gotta hide this. Um, and I gotta hide this cause I'm gonna talk about it. But um, yeah, I was trying to set, send something to my laptop and it was taking forever cause my laptop's old. But besides that, welcome. Um, happy Sunday. Thank you guys for being here. Um, you, you don't even have to watch this video, but you choose to, so I appreciate it. Um, I mean, looking at the analytics, people be clicking through uh, <laughs> the videos fast. So I'm trying to do something to like, you know, retain people's, um, retain people's, I guess, uh, attention. <laughs> I don't know why words are hard right now, but I wanted to do a video. I'm doing well, by the way, and I'm happy it's Sunday. And I just, this morning I woke up and one, I got to sleep in and that was nice because I don't really sleep in often. Um, two, I woke up, straightened up the place. Um, and I don't know, I've just been so happy this morning. Um, I'm gonna go tour another house today with my boyfriend. And right before that, we're gonna go on a boat because my friend is so nice and he has like connections or whatever. So we're gonna go on a boat before we go tour a house. I really would like to move into a house soon. But let me get to the topic of this video. Um, I know sometimes I go through this um, and I think like, oh my gosh, what is the purpose of my life? Uh, or what's my life purpose? But I've already figured that out. I'm an educator and I wanna, you know, make people healthy. That's my purpose, long story short. Um, but for today's video, I was scrolling through Pinterest cause I love Pinterest and it's 2024 and I'm a Pinterest stand for real. But anyways, I found this um, pin that was, it was titled, How to Find Your Purpose in Life. And I looked at like all the little prompts and it just reminded me of like how I used to teach my students. Like I used to like make up lessons as I go and get things from Pinterest. But um, I wanted to come on here and like help you guys, well help myself too, um, or tell you guys how I navigate through, you know, doing things purposefully in life just to you know make myself feel fulfilled and happy for you know helping people so um there's one two three four five four eight twelve things that i'm gonna try to speed through so the video is not too long but one number one um these are tips on how to find the purpose in your life and I'm gonna tell you, I'll sprinkle in some ways that I do these things, okay? So number one, it was write down hobbies and activities that excite you where, where time flies and you feel alive. Um, I, lately, and I think at the beginning of October, I was like, this month I'm gonna, you know, do better and I'm gonna do things that, you know, excite me and make me feel better. And lately I've been um, going on walks more. I've been getting outside. I've been wanting to be outside because like the weather's beautiful. Even it, even though it was raining because it is Seattle, but um, the fall in Seattle is so cute. Like if you can like see all of the trees right now, like look at the trees changing color. Like you could see, uh, well, those are still green, but like look at all of those trees changing color behind me like in the weather right now, like I'm literally on my rooftop and it's so nice right now. Uh, 
and I just have on a sweatshirt and leggings. So yeah, so yeah, I've just been doing all that stuff. I have been stretching and I will be doing more yoga this week. Uh, number two, I'm gonna move on, uh, is reconnect with your childhood self. What did you love doing as a child? One thing that I've been doing lately is um, like doing things that, you know, make me think of happier times as a kid. Like one of them was I went skating with my friends last weekend. Um, I'm gonna try to make that like a regular thing, like just hit up people maybe once a week and say like, hey, who wants to go skating this week? Because I do own a pair of skates and I need to get my money's worth out of them. Um, so one that does like bring me joy and skating is so much fun and it, it's such an exercise, but um, you don't think about it when you're doing it because it's so fun, you're just going in loops. But there's that. And then like lately I've just been uh, going, down, going down nostalgia, uh, nostalgia lane and <laughs> I found the score in the, oops, in the, um, in the grocery store. I was at like some kind of like corner store and I've been telling everybody and their mom about my favorite candy bar as a kid. It's, and this is not sponsored, obviously. Bruh, back it up, shit. I'm sorry, there's a bee right here that's trying to fight me. But anyways, um, it's, what is it? This is Nestle, no, Hershey Company, I think. Nestle, no, yeah, Hershey Company. And this is what I used to eat as a kid. And I got another one just to eat it uh, when I bought this the other day, but it doesn't taste the same. And honestly, it's a little thicker than what I remember, but this was my favorite, absolute favorite candy growing up. Um, and it's a crisp butter toffee and chocolate candy. And oh my God, back in the day, it was so good, but it's just a chocolate covered toffee candy. Um, but yeah, like finding, like, you know, buying things like this, going skating. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot. I was doing something with my, with somebody the other day and it just reminded me a lot of, oh my gosh, this bee's back. Okay, homie, back it up. <laughs> um, it just reminded me of something from my childhood, but that, um, yeah. Number three, moving on, sorry. I'm trying to make this flow. Um, number three is reflect on moments when you felt truly fulfilled and the impact you had on others. Um, lately, the last three days, honestly, I've just been, you know, thanking God for everything in my life because, you know, I, I could be, you know, in a different situation and I could be, you know, struggling in life and I'm truly not struggling and I thank God for that. Um, and I pray that people who are struggling, you know, receive um, the peace and comfort um, that they deserve because, man, last week I just was, I just, there was so much, there is and continues to be so much happening in the world and um, I'm, you know, I was glued into the news and it just took me a second just to like um, disconnect from, you know, everything happening right now that is out of my control um, and really just, um, just take a pause and just think about, well, this is what I did. I took a pause. I literally sat in silence and thought about like, what are things around me that aren't gonna, you know, when I'm consuming them, aren't going to make me feel, you know, helpless and like I can't do anything for other people. Um, like, what are things that I can, what are ways that I can channel this, um, this helplessness into something productive to help people? And doing that like really um, centered me and I feel like, goodness there's so many damn spider webs over here what the fuck what is happening there's like a spider web i'm sorry <laughs> sorry i'm outside and nature is naturing but anyways yeah where i was going with that was basically i was i just needed to center and think about what i can control and where i can help 
Uh, number four is list skills you excel at and what others seek your help with regularly. Like what are some things that people are always coming to you um, about, you know? Uh, and when I think about that for myself, um, I just think about like all my friends. Hmm. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm just like in my friends' lives, I'm just like that one positive person who always like looks at the brighter side of things and I always you know, try to help people reflect on like, uh, what is the best that can happen instead of like, want, 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 you know, like when I hear things that are totally in people's control, I just try to think like, I try to guide them to seeing that there's not real issues. It's just yourself. So it's like you versus you. And if anybody knows that line, my sister tells, I mean, she says that a lot, but you versus you, um, and I say that I bring my sister up because she has been through a lot and it it truly is you versus you in a lot of different things in life situations. And I just think about her um, because, like I said, she's been through a lot and she embodies that you versus you mentality. And um, I don't know, that's inspiring. <laughs> Number five. Uh, for one year, say yes to as many new experiences as possible. Um, yeah, that's hella dope. I, I feel like I did that last year and it led me to so many new things and it led me to like happiness, to be honest. Um, but one thing that comes up to mind that I am doing actively is, you know, trying to be pushed out of my comfort zone and, um, my friends are always sending, like we're always sending things to each other, like events and all these things. One thing that I did recently was do, and I've talked about this a couple of times now, but one was one thing that I did was um, participate in like a sound bath. And that like, I felt that for real. I felt that sound bath for real. Um, but another thing that's coming up is at the end of this month, um, my friend and I think my boyfriend are, is coming too, but we're gonna go sailing. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go take a random free sailing class. Um, I think on South Lake Union, but I don't, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so just oh, like these are things to help you find your purpose, but also you know help you live a little because we're not promised tomorrow and. I find myself thinking about, damn, we're not promised tomorrow, so let's do this um, to live a little, you know, to live a lot, to, you know, live. <laughs> uh, number six, list your regrets, understanding what you wish you had done. Wait, wait, let me read this. List your regrets, understanding what you wish you had done um, can illuminate what truly matters to you. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to, oof, I don't think I need to explain that one. Identify people you envy and understand why. Often envy points uh, to something you desire for yourself. I honestly try not to, you know, think about what other people have because um, that just leads to comparison and I'm one of one, okay? We're all one of one, so you don't need to be trying to be somebody else and trying to keep up with the Joneses and all that stuff. So I'm moving on from that. Uh, pra number eight, practice mindfulness to connect your inner voice uh, and trust your gut instincts. Yeah, there's so much like, now that we're post-COVID, uh, there's so many distractions again um, that you just need to, everybody needs to, take a pause and connect with themselves, listen to their voice, listen to their inner voice, talk to yourself nicely, don't, you know, don't beat yourself up, all that stuff. Um, one thing that this also reminds me of, uh, the being practice mindfulness. So I am obsessed with one of my bosses and uh, basically, we like we when we meet up we go somewhere and we you know have like a vegan meal because that's what our organization is and not me saying that and having a score which is not vegan uh, but <laughs> anywho 
um, we like go to like cafes or we meet around like lunchtime and then we'll like have a meal that's how we that's how we do our meetings right so last week my boss and I were um, we went to PCC and got lunch and we were looking for drinks and I was like oh I had just gone to a cafe so I didn't want to get anything else to drink but she got a drink and I was like oh shoot and it was this one of these drinks it was from this line called recess again this is not sponsored but um it was from this line and it's called recess mood and this is the flavor uh raspberry lemon and what it has it's this is a drink to like help you you know calm be calm and there's magnesium and adaptogen infused sparkling water in it and it's calm cool and collected that's the um that's what it helps let's see what it says it says these are the facts that it says on the side it says we canned a feeling we canned a feeling a sparkling water to brighten your day with magnesium adaptogens and real fruit for you and your on your best days uh it has magnesium um a form of magnesium for the brain and then it has adaptogens lemon balm to help maintain balance and then it says to take a recess create a moment in time do with do with it what you wish calm cool and collected so yeah i've been like you know drinking these and um that's been you know part of my mindfulness practice uh number nine take a break from your regular life um, this could be a gap year, a long retreat, or simply a few weeks off. I need to do that soon. I will be doing that soon. Um, yeah, I need a break because your girl has been grinding and I need to take a well-deserved break. Um, number, whatever number is next. Imagine what you'd like people to say about you at your 90th birthday. Um, the way I see this is like, I, first of all, one disclaimer, I don't care what other people think about me, but, um, one thing that you could think about if, um, if you want to find a purpose in your life is what are people, say, what do you think people say about you when you aren't in rooms? Like if they are saying something about you, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Uh, what do you think people are saying about you? Think about that. Um, and honestly, a lot of people say, have a lot of good things to say about me. So I'm not worried about that. But also what other people think about you shouldn't be, you know, a, you know, something that you gauge your life off of. Sorry. Um, and then the last one, engage in meaningful conversations with people. Um, with people what does that say with people outside of your social circle to get fresh fresh perspectives um i mean i'm a talker and i for some reason people are gravitated to talk to me um so i just you know have conversations with people and they end up being the coolest conversations ever so don't uh put that past anything and you know talk to people i mean we're in seattle people come here Zell <laughs> okay <laughs> oh that was funny my boyfriend just came upstairs but then disappeared but anyways um yeah don't I mean Seattle there's the Seattle freeze but honestly if people wanted to talk to you and if you wanted to talk to people you would um so don't you know I don't know just be nice but what I'm about to do is get off here because this is about to be a 20 minute video and I'm gonna eat this score <laughs> and I'm gonna drink this um, little mood thing and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday I'm going to go for a boat ride and um, just enjoy life today and then I'm gonna go look at a potential house so wish me luck and I hope your guys' next week goes very well. And next week, hmm, if you're a real one, put in the comment section of a video of what you want me to, what you want 
to see me doing uh, because the whole premise of my videos is just to you know exist and to live my life live my best life so yeah if you guys can help me out uh, put in the comment section like what are some things that you would like to see me doing around Seattle or at home okay all right deuces take it easy